Yo, what's up? It's Keith Kelfis. I want to talk about workers' comp and general liability audits and why you're going to get audited every single year in your landscaping business. And it's important to know ahead of time that this is normal. I'm going to walk through it real quick because I'm just finished two audits myself for workers' comp and general liability. I'm out doing my Saturday errands, not working. Well, I'm, I work every day, but just went to the office to check my mail. And so here's how I do it. And I also want to talk about overcoming some of the maybe fears and anxieties. When I first was getting my landscape business off the ground and to cross in the 100K market, start hiring employees, I heard these kind of nightmare stories like, oh, you better watch out, man. They're going to audit you, the IRS and the workers comp. And, and if something's wrong, dude, I had a friend who ended up owing like 60 grand. I'm like, oh my God, was he able to pay it? He's like, well, he's paying it off now. And these nightmare stories that just give me the heebie-jeebies and freak me out and feel like no matter what you do you're going to get audited they're going to look at all your stuff and they're going to they're going to slam you with these fees and take your business away and like i dude i've literally had one insurance company that said uh dude i don't even do anything wrong i pay all my bills on time we're fully licensed and insured just totally normal running a little landscape business here and it'd be like Failure to respond could end up in imprisonment or jail time. What? Dude, I got pissed when I saw that. I wanted to call the company and be like, what? How dare you put that on a notice, right? Address to, well, is it really my business? I don't even want to get into all that, the whole articles of a corporate. But, but, but what this they do is they want to make sure that you keep paying them and you give them all the documentation. So here's the game. If you're going to run a business and you're going to have employees... Uh, without getting too deep, deep into this, there's rules. And you just play by the rules, and then you just just do it. Give them their stupid money. Make sure you have um, all the policies that you need, and keep it all up to date. And it's called just the it's just the administrative pillar of your business. And once that's all set up, and you're paying the bills, it's just it becomes a normal thing. And then each year, you don't even care anymore. It's not a big deal. So here's the next thing I want to say. When you have general liability and workers comp, um, they are going to audit you annually. And they're just going to request your know, documentation. Has there been any changes in your business or classifications of what you do? What was your payroll? How much did you pay? How did you pay people? Um, overtime. Um, and it can feel intrusive and invasive. And that's debatable whether it is or not but anyways they're an insurance company they're insurance companies they want to know what their exposure risk and liabilities are and they want to make money no matter what so uh, with all that being said and you understand that so when, when, when you get these notices in the mail if you have an llc or you get taxed as an s corp whatever you do when you have articles of incorporation this ain't even addressed to you this is addressed to your business it just happens to be a business that you're the president or a shareholder of it's not even got your name on it you might be listed as a policy holder but what i mean is when you remove yourself from this sounds weird but kind of like the jurisdiction of this whole thing it was like me they're coming after me and they want all this stuff from me no the insurance company is doing business with your business and you could just remove yourself from that those emotions and just say oh they're just requesting this paperwork so the business can be insured like there's you take the emotion out of it but for me i get triggered by this stuff and I, and and i would now it's more of an annoyance but i used to have an emotional response and so what would happen is it would create a mental and emotional block if you're the type of person who you like to go cut grass and trim trees and install mulch and rocks and move boulders and work on shit and you're a very physical work with your hands type of person and you don't like to be trapped sitting in front of a computer going through P&L, financial statements, doing insurance stuff, administrative tasks. I hate that stuff. Even though I do it every single week, I do my Friday finances and my Saturday errands and mail up the quarterly taxes and the insurance and talk to the bookkeeper and the accountant and all this crap. Like, you just have to do it. It's, it's just the tax that you play, the game you play and the tax you pay for running a business. So you can get all the perks of running a business, which is like, you get cool tax breaks. You can make a lot more money than having a job. The sky's the limit. So think of all the good things you get. But with that being said, if you have an emotional response, you might have huge self-limiting uh, these emotional blocks where you literally cannot get yourself to do this audit because it uh, you don't have time for it. 
you don't know how to do it. It takes an entirely different part of your brain that you don't normally use. And you have to sit down in front of a computer and do all this crap and pull reports. If you've got a lot of stuff going on and you're trying to do it from maybe even a home office, it's really hard. So here's what I do. Even though I've done all this stuff myself before, I hate doing it. I don't have time for it. I delegate. I call it my bookkeeper. I call it my accountant. I say, hey, I have this audit coming in for workers' comp and for general liability. They're back-to-back. -back. Can you help me with this? Because I'm way too busy, and I'll pay you at your standard billing rate if you can help me. And then they'll literally respond, yeah, we do this all the time. Send us over, pull the payroll reports, send it, and we'll do it all for you. Oh, my God, I don't know how to pull the payroll reports. There's all the W-2 and 1099 and 10, uh, 1040 easy and W-4s and I-9s and... Um, wait, there's a whole bunch of them. There's like 20 different pages and pages and pages of all these different random reports that when you go to pull these reports, you won't know the difference. So you're like, now you feel like you've got to sit down and do study and research for three and a half hours to find out what this stuff even means. And then you could be so busy running your business and they audit you at the worst possible time when you're the busiest that you don't even have time to do any of this shit. So three and a half hours might as well be three and a half weeks because you might only have nine minutes, right? Nine minutes. So I literally have asked my accountant and my bookkeeper, dude, I literally don't even know how to in the past, pull the reports. What do you mean pull the reports? And I'm sitting here in anxiety and like, the phone's ringing, it's customers, employees need me, this thing broke down, my wife's calling my name, and you're trying to pull reports for payroll and there's a deadline. Some people can easily do this, no big deal. Some people suck at it, I suck at it. So just give them your login to your payroll and they can literally pull the reports for you or they can show you how to do it. I know when I have a deadline, I can perform amazing. Like. When I don't have a deadline, I procrastinate like crazy. But I'll just go pull a whole bunch of reports within a timeline, hoping it's the right shit, and I just email it all over to the accountant and be like, is this the right thing? And he'll look through it. Boom, it's perfect. All right, dope. Here's the logins to my insurance company. Do it. All right, next Monday rolls around. My accountant is like, and your accountant can do this for you. They did it all for you. And then you'll get an email from your insurance company. Good, your audit's done. You're all set. Ah, it's over. And then you just get a bill from your accountant. 100 bucks, 200 bucks, 300 bucks, whatever they charge you at their standard billing rate. So I use, uh, for my bookkeeper, I use Blue Sky Services. They do all my books uh, for both my businesses, PL statements, and it works hand in hand with my accountant. Uh, go to keithkelfis.com slash resources, and you can get a discount if you want to get a bookkeeper. I use Blue, your Blue Skies bookkeeping or go to your, yourblueskies.com slash Kelfis. Anything that I talk about in my videos, there's always something on my resources page at keithkelfis.com slash resources. I'll put a link below for that. Now, my accountant is a local accountant. He can't take on like nationwide clients. Um, you're gonna have to find your own accountant. But yeah, I hope that that serves you. I hope that makes sense. Don't stress out about this stuff. But when these, when the, when these notices come in, get them handled immediately.